Over here. Please. I need to talk to you. About what? You don't know me. And I want to keep it that way. But I'll tell you. I'm with the opposition, and I know you're a wanted man too. ASC's hunting you. Heard you're quite the traveler. Keeping that in mind, my cell chief thinks we might be able to scratch each other's backs a little, considering we have the same enemies. He's got a deal for you. He'll be hiding in the back of the curiosities. Waiting for you. All right. Sure. Hey! Hey! Over here! Please. Hey, officer. Should I be worried about your visit? If I was still an officer, maybe. I'm as much on the run as you are now. Maybe I should start calling you something else, then. What's your name? Zachariah. A pleasure, Zachariah. How can I help you? Hi. Hello there, Mr. Manser. Good to see you. How have you been coping with the ASC's rise to power? It's not me I'm worried about. You have no idea the number of our people who've been arrested, tortured, killed. But all of Victor's brutality is starting to backfire. The people are getting fed up. They're joining us in droves. Problem is, it's not easy to organize everyone. Especially when we don't know who the ASC spies are and aren't. But we still need to get the truth out to the people. It's the reason our publications are so important. It's just one voice of reason, standing up against the relentless lies and propaganda the regime's spreading. It's... it's... I'm sorry, I'm sure I'm just preaching to the choir. I heard you thought we might be able to help each other. You heard right. Me and my group published the real news so people get to hear what's really going on past the propaganda. Problem is, we're having trouble getting reliable information. As you can imagine, we're being hunted too, which makes it harder to meet up with our informers, a lot of whom are turning up dead. Rumor is the army's reducing its number of troops, but it's just a rumor for now. I could probably talk to my former captain to verify it. Is that all you're looking for? No. We also know that we lost the war to Aurora, but don't have any details about it. Not a single soldier even came back from the front. We want to know what happened. How'd we lose? Dandolo's probably heard and probably has a better political perspective and understanding of it than anyone else I'd know. Is that it? No. One last thing. We heard about a rebellion in a prison camp a while back. But it wasn't the prisoners who rose up. It was the mutants working there. Heard a lot of skate. And do you want to know details? Sure. For that, I can go right to the source. Mutants have settled down in a place I know. I'll see if I can get some answers for you. I'll be back when I find them. It would be a big help. Looks like I wasn't wrong in asking you. Be careful out there.
Captain, good to see you. Always, Lieutenant. Zack. Thought you'd look a little worse for wear, but... You look good. I should probably be pissed that you stole one of our rovers. I guess he didn't have much of a choice. What do you need? If you're here for help, start talking, because every second I'm around you is a bona fide hazard. And I don't want to have to steal a rover myself. How are things? Heard there have been a few changes. Thanks to your escape, yeah. Now most Technomancer officers are treated like traitors. And the army's barely got a voice now that it's under control of the ASC. Can't tell friend from enemy anymore. Everyone's watching their own back, suspicious of everyone else. Paranoia is caught like a virus. I don't know what's going on, but I am worried what it means for our corporation. We are sinking into an era of terror. Beginning to act like the very Aurora fascists who we hate, who had their own men assassinated. Rumor has it that the number of soldiers in the barracks is declining. Despite official reasoning that it's downsizing because we're no longer at war. Unofficially, it's because many of your colleagues have been arrested, and even more replaced. Replaced? By members of the ASC who report directly to him, and now make up half my company and who should be out watching over the population, but instead spend their time watching over us in support of the Colonel's little power grab. Just saying. If the man decided to mount a coup against the Dowser, not sure there's much we could do to stop him. Zachariah, I've got something I need to ask you. Zachariah, what can I do for you? Not much news in Ophir about Aurora defeating Abundance. You heard anything? Word is that Green Hope's defeat brought an end to the fighting. Aurora apparently took control of the Hydroponic Center using militia alongside Technomancers to support their army. And at first, Wisdom showed himself a worthy military strategist, using the militia in battle. Such people, properly motivated, can be surprisingly effective. You'd have to bear witness to the poorer classes of Aurora, to fully grasp how badly they were mistreated, to fully grasp how much the mere promise of a place in the Council would motivate them to fight, to fully grasp how it helped to deliver quite a blow to Abundance. And while Aurora adopted new strategies, Abundance remained predictable. They had almost no Technomancers, since it's becoming harder to find them in Ophir with each passing day. An interesting development, yes? And one that wiped out their army. Yeah, thanks for the info. Zachariah, I've got something I need to ask you. Hey there. What do you want, human? I heard some mutants escape from a prisoner camp. You hear anything about that? Hasn't everyone? Not in Ophir, where the news never went public, no. It was only a rumor there. What do you know? I know if Ophir's men hear of it, it will cause trouble for us. For those among us who are still slaves there. It could also give your brothers back there some hope again. And to show them that we were able to rebel and escape? Uh, yes. 
Yes. Hope. So I will tell you. For my people, life in camp was hard, to say it lightly. Hard labor during the days, brutality during the nights. The prisoners would take out their frustration of being locked up out on them. The guards and prisoners alike battered them with their frustrations. Then, one day, one of ours struck a guard who was trying to stop him from going to the aid of a brother. After he fled, the guards then stated that if he did not come out, they would execute ten random mutants. That was the moment the rebellion began. A prisoner from Aurora helped my brothers. With tools, they incited riot. Blood flowed. Many died. Some escaped. But, at the start, few thought to flee. At the beginning, they wanted only better lives where they were. It became obvious, though, the repression that would come would be worse than ever. That the only chance for life was somewhere else. Scum, the mutant who struck the guard, led them to freedom. They escaped without even being chased. The story came directly from Scum. A great speaker. A great hero. Thanks for the information. Hi. Hello there, Mr. Manser. Good to see you. So, what did you learn? I was able to get some answers for you. Great. I knew you would. Go on, what did you find? Keep names out of this. Be clear. Of course. Our sources are always protected. Go on. According to my source, the army's reducing its troops by 50%, and the official reasons are the rising rates of desertion, the number of Technomancer arrests, and the shrinking size of the standing force during peacetime. But she says this doesn't explain everything, as many good officers and soldiers are being let go without reason, when replaced by members of the ASC. In fact, the fear is, if the ASC attempted a coup today, the army couldn't stand in the way, because there are too many ASC entrenched in its ranks. That's terrifying. And it's news that'll hit the hearts of people in this city. All the people with soldiers and their families, soldiers who fought hard, now being fired only to make room for spies. What else did you find out? I talked to an expert on corporation politics who had first-hand knowledge about Aurora and us. And how'd he say abundance lost? Aurora's troops were led by a general named Wisdom, who used Technomancers. And apparently they've got a lot more than we do, especially recently. So abundance of rests and detains you and your brothers, our greatest weapons, and fall because of it. Guess that's karma. But what's more, they rallied the common people, recruited local and national militias who were feverishly motivated by the promise of gaining a voice on Aurora's council. Aurora became the first corporation to empower its people to fight. So while Aurora brought everyone together for the war, strengthening their numbers, Abundance fought weakened, bleeding their ranks, arresting its own Technomancers. Our army, well-trained and well-equipped as it is, didn't stand a chance. We lacked the Technomancers to lead the charge and the motivation of Aurora's militias to persevere. That's incredible. By giving power to the people, Aurora all but assured its victory power of unification is real. And the self-sabotaging nature of our government ruled by paranoia and fear cost us the war. I also talked to a mutant who heard about the camp breakout from the mutant who led it. Fantastic. And? The mutants in that camp were living in hell, day in and day out. They'd finally just had enough. So one day, a guard was beating on a mutant too tired to work. As much as the others pleaded, the guard wouldn't stop. So another mutant stepped in and hit him back. The guards threatened to kill ten mutants in retaliation. And that lit the fuse. With the help of a prisoner from Aurora, the mutants got their hands on some tools. And the riot started. They weren't trying to escape. They just wanted the abuse to stop. But the way the guards reacted made the mutants fear that it would only get worse. So they got out, led by a mutant named Scum. It's now a bit of a legend among them. And where'd they go? I can't tell you that. Fair enough. 
need to protect your sources, right? Another story the people need to hear. It's what happens when you mistreat beasts long enough. Eventually, they'll turn on you. Thanks for all the information. Once I write the articles and get them out there for people to read, I think the people are gonna have a wake-up call about how different the truth is from the propaganda their government's feeding them. Hope it makes a difference. You and me both. But real change has to start with the truth. Hold on. I've got one more thing to ask of you, if I could. One more thing to really make sure we can ignite some change. And what's that? We put our news on the city walls. The man who's been doing it for us lives in the exchange. Getting there, though, has honestly gotten too dangerous for us. So you want me to be your delivery man? A deliverer of truth to those who have been starved of it, yes. If you would do that for us. Yeah, I can do it for you. I'll see you later. are becoming more and more numerous, and more and more reckless. I heard they become so ballsy that they're planning to blow stuff up. Come on, you know that's bullshit. Don't believe everything the secret police tells you. They're not terrorists. Brought back some articles to hang around your city. Now keep your voice down. Quiet. Tell our mutual friend that soon these will be hanging on every other wall in the city. How are you gonna make that happen? 
I'll make stencils of the text and then go around the city with volunteers and hit every wall we find. Soon, everyone in Ophir will know the truth.